Greenhopper is built on on the concept of you know, the main interface being what is called a board, um, just like you might have um, in Scrum methodology. Um, if you were following sort of more analog methods, you might have you know a bulletin board of post-its or index cards you know, that you move things around on. Um, there's that same concept, um, and some of you are familiar with that from using previous versions of Greenhopper. That concept continues. Um, we have, I have pre-configured boards for every team on um, KS Core and um, the enrollment PDTs. And so, um, you know, right, you, you can find those in Greenhopper right now, right after this training. Um, the, the boards are um, pre-configured with um, certain criteria for what shows up on those boards. The boards um, are set up so that team leads can manage them, uh, so that teams can tweak their board as they need to to follow their team's best practices. And um, those boards are um, comprised of three different views that um, really sort of follow um, different stages of Scrum practices, um, the plan view, the work view, and the report view. And I'll um, show you some basics of those interfaces now. I am in our JIRA instance, and if I go to the Agile menu and, um, and click the drop-down, you can see the re boards I've recently worked on, or you can click More and get this list of all the boards that are set up on the Quali Foundation JIRA server. And you can see the list of, of um, chaos enrollment boards here. I'm going to play with an East Coast board. And I'm going to close this just because that's how it's going to initially show up for everyone. So when I'm looking at my board, um, I see the name of my board up here at the top left, and I see some toggles for plan work and report the different views and, and a tools menu that I can perform some um, advanced functions in. I'm going to focus on the plan view first. In the plan view and in many of the other views, I also have um, sort of the, this header at the top where I can type in text that um, searches and filters the, um, the, the, the ticket list here in white or I can use a set of pre-configured quick filters. These are configured per board, and I, as an example, pre-configured one called current milestone. And if I click this filter, it limits what shows up in the backlog view here to items that have a fixed version value of the current milestone. And I'm considering that, you know, um, that's set up for M7 right now. But I could also limit this to only the things that are assigned to me or to things that have recently changed. In the left side, in the left panel, I have the epics panel. Epics don't appear in the backlog. Um, epics appear on the left as a means for um, organizing the backlog. Um, product owners and I can work together in, um, to prioritize the epics and set their order here. Um, on the screen. I can um, view some additional information clicking the expand about the epic, or I can click on it, let me pick a different one, and have it um, act as a filter for the view that I'm looking at. 